and thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Dustin Saldariaga, an immigration attorney with Scott Legal PC. We're a full-service immigration law firm based in New York City. And today we'll be talking about what can be done when you filed an application with the government. It could be an application for a green card or a temporary visa, or even an application for work authorization, for example. And you've been waiting a really long time for a decision. You've tried the available options for contacting U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, but nothing seems to nudge the government into deciding your application. Can anything be done? Fortunately, the answer is yes, through something called a mandamus action, which is a fancy name for suing the government to make it do its job. And in this day and age when unreasonable government delays have become the norm rather than the exception, which was the case long before COVID-19 caused even further delays, it's especially important to understand what a mandamus action is, how it works, and when it might be a good option to consider. So what is a mandamus action? A mandamus action is basically a lawsuit against the government that's filed in federal court and that asks a judge to tell the government to do its job. Specifically, when you file a mandamus action, you're basically asking a federal judge to tell the government that its delay is unreasonable and that it needs to fulfill its obligation and make a decision on your application. It's actually a really interesting example of the checks and balances framework laid out in the U.S. Constitution. You're asking the judicial branch, a judge, to tell the executive branch, the immigration agency, to fulfill the duty that the legislative branch, meaning Congress, placed on it by law. Now, one thing that's important to keep in mind is that a mandamus action does not tell the government how to act or how to decide your case. In other words, it doesn't tell the government it should approve your application, for example. It only tells the government that it needs to act. Typically, that means either to approve the application, to deny the application, or to issue a request for additional evidence or information that will help the government to decide your case. But the point is that a mandamus action tells the government it needs to do something. It can't just keep sitting on your application doing nothing. After learning that suing the government is an option, the next question our clients usually ask is, how long do I need to wait before I can file a mandamus lawsuit? Oftentimes, if you think you've been waiting too long for the government, that's usually a good sign that you've waited long enough and that you should consider reaching out to an immigration lawyer to discuss available options. Some of the things a lawyer will probably look at include whether you've already tried other options to resolve the delay, like calling USCIS or filing an inquiry with the USCIS ombudsman, for example. A lawyer would also take a look at what it is you're applying for, a green card, a visitor, visa, work authorization, for example, and what the typical wait time for that benefit is. Though keep in mind that wait times published by the government are not the be all end all. We will be posting a separate video on that topic and how, as one federal judge put it, an unreasonable delay that applies to everyone is still an unreasonable delay. In the end, what we're trying to figure out is whether the government's delay is unreasonable. Un unreasonable on the government's part, meaning can we make the argument that the government could have and should have acted earlier, and unreasonable given your need for the visa, meaning you have a medical emergency, for example, or are trying to reunite with your family. Remember that judges are human, so facts that create a compelling story are important. Also, keep in mind that you can file a mandamus lawsuit against either the Department of Homeland Security or the Department of State. So whether your application is held up at USCIS or at a consulate, mandamus may be an option. Many people who are considering a mandamus action are concerned about whether the government will somehow retaliate against them if they were to sue the government. The response to this is that we have not heard of a single example where the government has retaliated against someone who filed a mandamus action against it. These lawsuits are not uncommon, and government attorneys are used to responding to them as professionals, as are the government employees who are responsible for carrying out the judge's order. So what does a mandamus lawsuit look like in practice? It's actually pretty straightforward. Once you decide to file a mandamus action, a lawyer will file the complaint, which lays out your story and what you're asking the judge to do, which is to tell the government to do its job. The lawyer will then file the complaint in court and serve it on the U.S. Attorney's Office. 
a government lawyer will then be assigned to the case and they will have 60 days to respond to your complaint. One of the first things they're probably going to do is call the immigration agency handling your case and ask them what the status of the case is. Oftentimes, simply having a government lawyer asking about the status of your case is enough to draw attention to it and get it moving. It's not surprising then that many of these cases are resolved long before anyone actually appears in court in front of a judge. In some ways, a mandamus lawsuit has the effect of assigning a government lawyer to look into the status of your case and find out why it's being held up. But even if your case is not resolved early on and does end up in front of a judge, it can be good to have an objective federal judge who doesn't work for the immigration agency or the executive branch decide whether the government is being reasonable. If you're considering a mandamus action, we do think it's important to speak with a lawyer. A lawyer can not only help you navigate litigation in federal court, but they can also discuss with you whether your case is a good one to sue the government on. If you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe in order to stay updated on our upcoming videos about U.S. immigration law. Thanks so much for watching.